give you a quick sort of run through of how to balance equations and some sort of tricks of the trade from a bit of experience. So the first example here is uh, the oxidation of iron. Now, if we look at the oxidation of iron, we just need to first of all note down the elements we've got on this side. I've got Fe and I've got O and I've got Fe and I've got O. Now, the key to balancing equations is the left hand side must have the same number of each atom as the right hand side. <clears throat> so as we run through this, let's have a look. So iron, I've got one iron because there's no number before or after with oxygen. I have got two oxygens because there is a two after. Okay, now over here I've got two ions and I've got three oxygens. And obviously those don't necessarily balance yet, so we need to put some numbers in in order to uh, in order to balance them. Now I cannot put any more elements in, and I'm not able to put extra numbers in the middle of the actual molecule, so I can't just dump a number in there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to figure out how many of each whole molecule. So there's a whole molecule, there's a whole molecule, there's a whole molecule. How many of each molecule or particle I need to actually uh, balance out. So the first trick I'm going to show you is the rule of six. If I've got a two and a three, okay, an element, always start with that. And what I do is I move my three over to my two. So I've got three before that. And I move my two over here. So I have a two there, okay? That means that I've got to now figure out how many of each uh, one of those elements I've got on each side, or how many of the oxygens. So I've now got three times two, so I've got six oxygens there, and I've got two times two times three, so I have got six oxygens there. Problem is, now I've multiplied the whole molecule by two, I've now got two times two ions. So I've now got four ions, but that's quite easy because I've got iron on its own over here. So if I put a quick little four in there, I have now multiplied that by four and I get four ions. So little run through, let's check. Left side I've got four ions, right side I've got four ions. Left side I've got six oxygens, right side I've got six oxygens. It balances four three, two. Okay, the second example is to do with uh, elements that are in more than one compound. So you will see here the oxygen and oxygen over here are both in a compound each. That's going to cause problems because if I try and multiply <coughs> anything on the right hand side to balance out the left hand side, it's going to have a knock-on effect. So what I do is I leave that until the end. Let's do what we did last time, and let's jot down our elements. So I've got carbon, I've got hydrogen, I've got oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Let's add them up. So I've got three carbons, I've got eight hydrogens, and I've got two oxygens. Over here, I've got two ox uh, hydrogens. I've got one carbon, and then I've got one oxygen there and two oxygens there. So I've got three oxygens. Right, <clears throat> so last thing I'm going to do is do the oxygens. So where am I really going to start? I'm going to have a look at my carbons. So in order to do that, let's multiply this one here by three. Okay, what that's going to do is that's going to multiply this up to three, but the problem is I'm doing three times two. So I have six, but do not forget this one. So I have got seven oxygens over here now all together. Right, that means I've got to then for balance that out. But let's wait. Let's leave the oxygen till the end still. Hydrogens. Two hydrogens, I've got eight. So in order to do that, I need to multiply this molecule by four. That will mean I've got four, I've got eight, because I've got four times two hydrogens. Because you do that, right? Just like in maths, multiplying out the brackets. Cool. So my hydrogens are now balanced. I have However, now I'll change my number of oxygens. So my number of oxygens is slightly different. And I've got uh, four oxygens there, and I've got six there. So in total, I've now got 10 oxygens. Now it's actually easy, and it all falls into place, because I've got 10 to 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Put a 5 in there. 
and I've now managed to balance it. Okay. Next example is to do with ions. So the reason I'm choosing this one is to do with ions. Um, <clears throat> again, I split this in half. I can't add or take away any elements, but I need to figure out how to balance it. Now, the trick here is if I write down my elements, I'm now not, I'm not going to do nitrogen and oxygen because the oxygen and that oxygen is going to confuse things what i'm instead going to do is because nitrate and nitrate over there over here and over there are exactly the same they do not change what i'm going to do is i'm going to treat it like its own element it's called a species All right so i've got four different species here c a o h and n o three let's add them up i've got one calcium, I've got one oxygen, I've one hydrogen, I've got one nitrate. Over here, one calcium, two nitrates, two hydrogens, one oxygen. Much, much easier now to balance because all I have to do is notice my hydrogens and my nitrates are two over here and one over here and they're over here. So if I multiply this by two, like that, well, now that's going to turn that to two. That's going to turn that to two. And calcium's good, oxygen's are good, hydrogen's are good, nitrogen's 